Okay, so here we go. We're going to look at a line. And for now, for our purposes of our demonstration, x is going to be 3. Yep. And then, but we'll check a few things with, um, with other x's. Yeah. Okay? All right, got a little glare. Um, okay, so if I want to understand x plus 2, and I'm starting with a line, yep. what do you think I need to do geometrically? Well, if you want, if x plus 2, if x equals 3, you could add 2 to the line. Okay, go ahead and do that. So I'll just put it on like this. All right, is that what you meant? Yeah. Okay, so in terms of uh, x plus 2, what did, if x was 3, that meant x plus 2 was going to be what? 5. 5. And from our picture here, we see that x plus 2, which is this figure, yeah. equals x, how does it relate to x? Uh, it's, got, it's x. Oh, it's, you just, you added 2. Plus 2. <laughs> so the thing we're trying to study, x plus 2, we just had to add 2 to. Interesting, right? Mm. Or not so interesting. Not so interesting. Yeah, probably not so interesting. But let's check and see if this works for uh, 10. Does 10 plus 2 equal 10 plus 2? Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. But we built up our line. And so... That's kind of neat. And by the way, from our little set of pieces we're using for this, how many pieces did we use? We used, well, we used three pieces. Three so in dimensions, I'm going to keep track of this, one, two, three, and four. We used uh, two oranges. Two oranges. So, so that, those are the zero dimensional things, right? Yeah. The one-dimensional things, the two and the three, so zero dimensions are our points, yep. our lines, our squares, and our cubes. So we use two of the zeros and one of those. Okay. Yeah. All right. Great. Ready to go on to uh, two dimensions? Yeah.